What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy, man? It's the Bronco at the Frog coming at you with another reaction video. We got us an interesting video today from Kick Birds. Go subscribe to that man. Y'all already know I started watching ball like in 2021, 2020-ish. So I miss Cristiano's, Ronaldo's whole prime. When I first got on the scene, it was like 50-50 in terms of people saying Ronaldo to go to Messi to go. But after Messi won that World Cup, and then he won another Ballon d'Or, I went and started it live. I seen him play in person three to four times. I seen him do everything. I seen the debate went to Messi hands down is the greatest of all time while Ronaldo is just kind of like fading in obscurity. Even though he's still doing his thing over there in Saudi Arabia, but the Messi PR is just going crazy right now, man. So you already know I missed exactly what type of player Ronaldo was. It's like in my mind, that boy ain't not even the second. People saying like Pele is the second now and Maradona is the third. They got CR7 at number four and all the lists that I see like in debacles and debates on Twitter. So I say, man, let me see. How good was Prime Ronaldo? That's where they say Messi and him is 50 50. Let's see what goes down. Man. Eden Hazard said a while back. He actually mentioned that he thinks he's got more natural talent in football than Cristiano Ronaldo. Eden Hazard. Pretty what? bold, right? See, a lot of people say that Ronaldo is is hard work. Messi is guy given talent while Ronaldo just worked hard to get to the position where he's at. That got everyone he talking. Meant. And believe it or not, there are folks who agree with Hazard's what claim. He meant. It seems like everyone has forgotten what Prime Ronaldo looked like. I did. From scoring with his right foot, left foot, his head, penalties, and free kicks. However you needed a goal, a Prime Ronaldo could provide it. But it didn't stop there. A I forgot Ronaldo to mention that I seen Messi win the Ballon d'Or in the World Cup. And I seen Ronaldo with his stint back with Manchester United when he walked off the pitch late and all of that debacle and, you know... Aldo hey. could send opponents into a spin cycle with his dribbling or simply over overwhelm them with his physicality. So in today's video, we're taking a nostalgic trip on. back to those golden years to really soak in the brilliance of prime Ronaldo. Yeah, get it. Ready to take this walk down memory lane with me? Let's dive in, shall we? First ball and door. Ronaldo's what prime years? years arguably started in the 2006-2007 season. A few years after sealing a move from Sporting to Manchester United, he was an instant fan he favorite at Manchester United, earning praises from Manchester United icons like George Best and Gary Neville, who ran out of words to describe him. Many times Cristiano Ronaldo has been on the pitch where he's been scoring goals, sensational player, one of the greatest of all time. He initially wanted the number 28 jersey, but as it was unavailable then, he was yeah. given the number 7 to begin the CR7 era. Number 28. The iconic number did nothing to weigh him down as in the 2006-2007 season, he broke the 20-goal barrier for the first time in his career while also helping the Red Devils win their first Premier League title in four years. So as soon as they boy Nardo got on the team, them boys won it for the first time in that long? It gets more impressive when you remember he was playing as a winger back then. Yeah. As a result, he won the PFA's Players Player, Fans Player, and Young Player of the See, Year See, okay, awards, so as well how as much the Football weight? Writers Association Footballer of the Year award, becoming the like first how much weight well do the all of these awards like hold? Like you know, nobody brings up the PFA Players Player of the Year award, Fans Player of the Year. I know Young Player of the Year, that's like the golden ball now, right? FWA, like what the football hell is all these random Association, awards? Football Writers Association, Football. They got so many awards award. in the football Becoming world. Becoming the first and only player to date to win all four awards in a single See? season. Like, he continued his red-hot form the next season by breaking George Best's 40-year record. Ooh. After scoring a brace against Bolton as a first-time captain for the Red <clears throat> Devils, he clocked his 33rd strike of the campaign. Wait, he was captain his George second Best's year? total of 32 goals in the 1967-1968 season. He ended up winning the Premier League Golden Boot with 31 league goals, plus becoming the bro. first winger to win the European Golden Shoe. He would Playing go on to bro. win the PFA Players Player and the FWA Footballer of the Year awards for the second season in a row. Manchester United went on to win the Champions League that season, with Ronaldo winning his first Champions League Golden Boot Ooh. and getting named the UEFA Club Football Player of the Year for his amazing season. In 2008, he became United's first ball and door winner since George I, I Best in 1968, and the first Premier League player to win the FIFA World Player of the Year award. And ain't he, he like the only Premier League? He's the last Premier League player to win Ballon d'Or, right? 
even though Early should have won that hoe last year. He said yeah. goodbye to the United fans after winning the inaugural Push Cash Award with his amazing strike against Push Porto Cash. in the Champions <laughs> League and rounded up his time at Manchester by winning nine trophies in total with the club. To date, he is still the last Premier League player to win the yep. Ballon d'Or. Early years in Madrid. Ahead of the 2009-2010 season, Ronaldo did what most iconic footballers do in their career by deciding between Barcelona and, and Real, Real Madrid. Madrid. He signed for Real Madrid Boy, for 80 million Ronaldo pounds, in the Barcelona jersey. Boy, I can't even imagine time. this shit. His arrival was greeted by at least 80,000 fans at the Santiago Bernabeu, surpassing the previous record of 75,000 fans that welcomed Diego Maradona at Napoli. His preferred number seven jersey was worn by then Real Madrid captain Raul. Yeah, he said he so not he giving wore it the up. number nine jersey in his debut season. Not on number nine. He wasted no time settling in Real Madrid yeah, after becoming Zinedine. Real Madrid's highest goal scorer with 33 goals in just his debut season and helping the Los Blancos to a club record 96 points in the league, but still wasn't enough to win the La Liga. Raul left the club the next season and CR9 he became CR7 seven. once again. He celebrated by scoring the match-winning goal in the 2011 Copa del Rey final, winning his first trophy in Spain, and winning the Pichichi Award, given to the Pichichi. league's highest goal scorer by scoring 40 goals, oh, okay. becoming the first player in the history of La Liga to score 40 goals in a season. He also won the European Golden Shoe for the second time, becoming the first player to win the award in different leagues. So in, in Ballon d'Or years, did y'all say the same thing for early? Bro, you don't get Ballon d'Or just for scoring goals, bro. This is what you have the golden boot for. Did y'all say the same thing when he was winning Ballon d'Or for scoring goals? He did this while I playing as a winger it. also. I mean, how ridiculous is that? The next season, Ronaldo helped Real Madrid win their first league title in four years hey. with a record 100 points after scoring a personal best of 60 goals in all Woo! competitions. He also celebrated a century personally after scoring his 100th goal for the club that same season, doing so in just 92 matches, breaking Damn. the previous record held by Ferenc Puskas, while Boy, simultaneously Ferenc. becoming the first player to score against all 19 opposition teams in a single La Liga season. Wait, 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 he was the first to do that out of the whole history of the La Liga? Puskas, while simultaneously becoming the first player to score against all 19 opposition teams in a single okay. La Liga season. If you made it this far into the video, please take five seconds to like, subscribe, right. and leave a SOO in the comments. Subscribe. Soo. Time's up. Let's get back to the video. Second Ballon d'Or. At the beginning of the 2013-2014 season, Ronaldo signed a contract extension with Real Madrid for three more years with a salary of 17 million net, which briefly made him the highest paid footballer in the world. 17 million, this would it? be the beginning of a fresh wave of success well, for Cristiano, day, as he was joined by Gareth Bale, who arrived at the club for 100 million euros, Boy, breaking the previous record held by Cristiano Ronaldo for trouble. the most expensive transfer fee in football. Together with his strike partner, Cody Benzema, they B formed an attacking trio popularly dubbed BBC, an acronym for Bale, Benzema, and Cristiano, which is one of the deadliest trios ever for assembled sure. in the history. Like I always said, I take BBC over MSN, not, yeah, MSN, just because of the fact that they won more. Trio know? football. As impressive as Cristiano's start to Madrid life has been, he wasn't able to win another Ballon d'Or for four years and watch Lionel Messi win it Messi for four years it all in a row. After scoring 69 goals and 59 appearances for club and country, Ronaldo won his second Ballon d'Or and slowly there began his comeback. Third Ballon d'Or. The next season, Ronaldo enjoyed his biggest success in Madrid by helping the club win La Decima, their 10th hey. European Cup. After scoring in both the semifinals and the final of that Champions League campaign, he became the first player to score in two European Cup finals for two different winning teams, Ooh. the first being Manchester United. Second being he won the, the Champions Madrid. League Golden Boot for the third time with a record of 17 goals, which is still the highest number of goals scored in a single Champions League campaign to date. As a result, he was named the UEFA Best Player in Europe that season. Ronaldo scored 31 goals in 30 league games, which earned him the Pachichi Average Award a goal again, again and the European Golden Shoe, which he had to share with then Liverpool striker Luis Suarez. Suarez. In 2014, after scoring a personal best of 61 goals in all competitions, he became the fastest player to reach 200 goals in La Liga, doing so in 178 matches. Machine, bro. After winning the 2014 FIFA Club World Cup with Madrid, Ronaldo won his third ball in door that year. 
he finished the 2014-2015 season by winning a second consecutive Pachichi Award and another European Golden Shoe for a record. I wonder what the Ballon d'Or arguments was like back in the day when it was either between Messi or Ronaldo, but I know the discourse online on the internet was crazy. Just people arguing back for Messi deserves it because he did this. No, Ronaldo deserves it because he did this. Boy, Fourth I know you was crazy. Fourth Ballon d'Or. By his Middle seventh four. season at Real Madrid, Ronaldo was on fire, becoming the club's top scorer ever, surpassing Damn. Raul twice, first in La Liga, then in all competitions. He didn't stop there, claiming the title of the Champions League's all-time top scorer with a stunning hat-trick. Hitting his 500th career goal, Ronaldo was unstoppable, even snagging the second spot as La Liga's highest scorer right after Messi. He dominated the Champions yeah, right League, after Messi, leading Messi his top hit 92 in a for calendar four year. straight years and smashing over 50 goals annually for six years. For some context, before Ronaldo, a great season for a striker was 20 to 30 goals in all competitions. Then, this absolute freak of a footballer came and started scoring 50 goals every season for six years straight, leaving everybody Damn, confused. Bro. And now scoring 20 goals as a striker is seen as a poor return. 2016 was Ronaldo's year. He led Portugal to Euro glory and swept up the Ballon d'Or, FIFA's best men's player, and UEFA's best player in Europe. The next season, he made Champions League history again, being the first to score 100 goals, topping the scoring chart, and driving Real Madrid to back-to-back -to -back Champions League titles. Fifth Ballon d'Or at the start of the 2017-2018 season, Ronaldo won the best FIFA's men's player for the second year in a row. After a beautiful curling strike against Dortmund, he became the first player to score in all six Champions League group stage matches Woo! and won the 2017 Ballon d'Or a day later to put a full stop to an amazing year. He didn't slow down either, as he scored his 300th La Liga goal in just 286 appearances, becoming the Damn. fastest player to do so. On the 3rd of April, Ronaldo received a standing ovation from Juventus fans after scoring what <laughs> most described as a PlayStation goal. Ah, a beautiful acrobatic mean rocket ass against sickle. John Luigi top Buffon. Probably top three. He finished the Champions League of season as the highest goal scorer for the sixth season in a row, with 15 goals to help Real Madrid to their third consecutive Champions League title, and Ronaldo's fifth before leaving then Madrid for Juventus. He went to Juventus. Here's a few of some of Ronaldo's insane records started. he's been holding for years now. He's the player with the most goals and assists in the Champions League. He's the first player to win the Pushkash Award ever. Oh, for real? He's the only player I to know score the goals they knew. in three different leagues, namely Premier League, La Liga, and in Serie A. Uh... He's the player with the most UEFA Men's Player of the Year awards winning it four times. He's the player with the most goals in the history of football. Damn, so, I did not know that. Now you've got to admit, Ronaldo <laughs> in his prime was nothing short of a football marvel, right? If you had as much fun watching this as he you, said he ain't even gonna cover his Juventus and uh uh Saudi League portion of his career. He gonna stop when he was still on top in Real Madrid, man. Hey, if I was back in the day watching that. Of course, everything would be closer with me in terms of like who's better, Messi or Ronaldo. But like I say, man, that Messi, that boy Messi, still going strong, kinda. Ronaldo fell off when he went to uh, Ju. Well, he ain't necessarily fall off when he went to Juventus, but pretty much, yeah. That went to. I, it feel like looking back in hindsight, going to Juventus is what ended it all, man. Hey, I go with Prime Ronaldo, second best of all time. I'm out.